I'll ask you a question that I ask many times in classes. If now the biggest rabbi of them all will come and will tell all of the chief rabbis and all of the Talmidei Chachamim and all of the Avrichim will tell us all with them together, we must do tshuva. Okay, the simple verse. We all must do tshuva. Very easy to understand, right? Now I'm asking you, how many of all of us will do tshuva? My answer to you is hopefully me. Because I said it so many times, maybe few of my students that heard that lecture will follow, but all of the rest that have not heard my lectures will not going to do tshuva. I'll tell you why. Everyone will take that rabbi words seriously. One will say, yes, I must wake up earlier in the morning. I cannot be lazy anymore. Great. Second one will say, he's right. I must go to shul. I cannot pray at home anymore. I must be serious. Great. Amazing. Third one will say, hey, I cannot rebuke my wife. She was crying so much. I'm going to apologize. Great. Amazing. That's not what the Rebbe said. To honor your wife, it's one mitzvah. To wake up early in the morning, it's a second mitzvah. To go and pray in the minyan in shul, it's a third mitzvah. All important and great, fantastic. You're going to be rewarded on them. Perfect. But the rabbi said you need to do tshuva. To do tshuva, it means to apologize, to feel bad on your crimes, and to tell Hashem, Hashem, listen, today I was looking on something that I was not supposed to look. You remember Hashem? I went out from Amazing Savings, and there was something over there, and you need to tell Him exactly what was that thing that you were looking and checking, and say to Hashem, Itbarach, and it was not allowed, and I'm sorry Hashem, help me not to do it again. And before you did that, you haven't done tshuva. I'm sorry. If you had desire for someone else's money, or car, or wife, or I don't know what, profession, or kippah, and you had the desire for that, so you were violating, breaking lotachmod. The most important commandment from the Ten Commandments, if you had a desire for something that belonged to someone, how you do tshuva on that? You're not waking up early in the morning or going to respect your wife. Those are other things. You need to come back from your sin to Hashem. You need to say to Hashem, is it too late now to say sorry, Hashem? I'm sorry. I was wrong. I looked at a wrong thing and I don't feel so bad with myself so it's probably another th sin that I'm carrying so please Hashem help me to do tshuva I'm apologizing I messed up today today I didn't learn Torah today I forgot to respect my wife today I was rebuking my children too hard way too hard please Hashem I was not focusing, I was not thinking, please Hashem, I was cheap, I saw a poor person and I thought that I was righteous but I forgot mitzvah tzedakah. So what's going on with me Hashem? And before you confess, open your mouth and give out words from your heart that will show that you regret, you have not completed your tshuva. And the verse is saying that Am Israel cannot be redeemed with nothing else, no advice will help them except of tshuva. And Am Israel nigalin ela bitshuva. Tshuva, tshuva. Not nets, not filin rashi and rabenu tam, not shaloshudes in Shabbos, not melave malka on bread, washing your hands with two nut lot and drying the faucet before you. Guys, relax. There is no Bet Mikdash yet. It burned 2,000 years ago. Relax. Breathe and try to find the way back to Hashem. Hashem, hi. How are you? Where are you? I can't see you in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now. Can you please show me your mercy, Hashem? That's the way to see Hashem. To who Hashem is close. To everyone that will call him with truth.
It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.